So uh, now I like to uh, tweak a little bit the lighting, but to have more light inside, we can just create um, a little aperture there over uh, the top, something really, uh, really little, nothing so uh, so special. So uh, let's go to zoom this area. Let's select this part. We can assign a new edit poly. And we can select the um, the uh, faces. Now let's go to open something there, maybe just a little bit more. Okay, cancel. Now we have an aperture over there. Now if we go to render, we should have uh, more light coming inside the scene. Uh, let's see, uh, let's go to have just a check to the material to understand if we have something that needs to be tweaked. Let's remove the displacement. And let's say to use just 16 uh, treat. And let's render a preview. So we can check also on the other part there to see if we have more lighting inside. You see that we start to have some lighting and let's check the exposure control. Uh, we can stay with this parameter. Maybe we can just have less highlight burn. Then about uh, the sun, I mean, uh, we can have something like that so if uh, we can maintain the actual parameter and just to be sure let's double check the uh, environment map uh, we can maintain this kind of parameter so uh, other thing we uh, we have to check um, we have a little bit of light coming inside from there, but maybe we can uh, just remove some more faces. Let's see what happens if we have something like that. And let's remove from this one the displacement and the turbo smooth just to go faster during the preview. Okay, we have a nice lighting coming inside. So let's go to tweak the water material. And I like to change the water. Let's, okay, re-click and Let's go for something more dark. And let's remove a little bit of bluish too. Um, then I like to have more glossiness. Let's go for 08 because we have some light that is not so pure there. And we'll have also a little bit of transparency, let's say it's 0 0.35. And a little bit of coloring for the transparency with less, a little bit more greeny. Okay. Um, we have to change a little bit also uh, the, uh, the bump. Let's go to a really low amount of blur, of bump. And we have to tweak also the scaling. I like to have bigger, uh, largest uh, wave, and the smallest one will be bigger too. And I like to have a little bit less detail. So maybe half, uh, half like before can be an F. Uh, we have the water on this part, and we can see how it is looking. We didn't see so much because uh, it is uh, still really dark, the rock. So we have to play a little bit with the uh, rock 
material. Uh, so mainly I like to have it uh, a little bit more reflective. So let's go to have one. And about the closeness, we can have less. Let's go for 0 0.5. Now we have to tweak the material inside uh, the map there. So that's the basic material we have. I like to tune up a little bit, for example, the gradient, because we see too much uh, the, uh, the various lines over there. So I will go to have some more clear color. So let's double click over there. And let's go for uh, one, uh, 165. And we can do the same for the other. Uh, let's go for 175 just to have something more clear. So in this case, we'll have less visible lines over the rock material we were creating. Uh, now I'd like to uh, work a little bit over the rock material we are doing and I like to make some changes. So the first thing I like to do is to uh, tune a little bit with a more brightness color. Let's go for, uh, sorry, uh, with a darker color, so minus 14. And we go to have more contrast. Then I like to tweak uh, the material itself too, because you see we have not so much detail. So this one is the substance rock. Let's go to have it less visible, but we go to uh, to change it. So the map is this one, and I like to change a little bit the uh, the mapping. So let's go to have more tiling. So it is more little. And let's check the parameters there. Maybe we can change a little bit the contrast. Let's go for minus zero one to have a clear color. Okay. So uh, let's make a preview for this area. Okay, you see the rock is better because the color is more visible, but you see uh, we have uh, the green area where we uh, were simulating the grass. Uh, it's too big the areas and it is too much present. So uh, let's go in the material there. And we have to tune a little bit uh, inside the mix, the noise that is controlling the uh, grass present. So I like to have more little areas and I like to make it uh, less present so we can have a higher low value. Then we have to tweak also the color to have it less visible. And we can go to have, for example, 130. So in this case, the grass will be less visible than before. We can make a new preview, a really fast preview, just to see are this looking. You see that it is looking more rocky with just maybe some uh, green area uh, around and less visible than before. Okay, um, let's go inside the grass to control a little bit the various parameters and maybe we can stay with this color setup, it's not a problem. So let's go to uh, work on the other area of the uh, rocky uh, coloring. I like to use a color correction to uh, tune a little bit the entire map, so uh, keep all map. And there we can mainly have more contrast to make it uh, more visible the various detail and uh, various color differences. Um, Talking about the other stuff, we have the seller to create some wide variation over the map, and that's nice. And we have the mix that is controlling the uh, basic color. And we can maybe have less presence of the noise. And in this case, it will be more visible the, uh, the gradient. So we can see if the gradient needs some tuning. Maybe we can go to have uh, 
a more uh, similar, uh, a color more similar to the black, so more darker. And maybe we can go to this one to have it a little bit brighter. Okay. And then let's see to uh, understand if the noise needs some tweaking. We can have more levels to have a little bit more complexity. And the scaling can be an F. Maybe we can tweak the tiling, but it's, it's not a problem. We can maintain this one. So we should have the right coloring for our uh, material there. And I like to see inside the exposure which kind of coloring, general coloring we have. We have uh, 6000 and half for the uh, Kelvin coloring. We can go higher. Let's go to 8000 and say, sorry, save. And we can make a new preview to see how it is looking. Uh, it is really fast so we can see it together. You see that it's uh, a little bit more hot about the coloring. We have less cold coloring around and it is going to be more interesting also uh, depending on the uh, reflectivity there. So let's cancel. And I like to see if we can use in this case the um, other uh, sampler or we can use directly the architecture one maybe we can use to have more details the physically correct and now we can play with the uh, the displacement map so uh, first of all we need to have the uh, the map for the um, uh, the reflectivity, because actually we have uh, the old map controlling the reflectivity, and I like to uh, to see if we need it or we can maybe make some tests just using no reflectivity map. So for the moment, let's set it as off, and later we'll see if we need it.